Hi, and welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look, look. Just going to be drinking, smoking, swearing. If you don't like those things, leave now because here I come in three, two, one. Bye. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. My name is Shamari Clark, and we have a great show for you today. Yes, brothers. All right, brother. So, wow, there's some good news today. Oh, and some bad news. I got to say this one. Damn it. All right. <laughs> Shit. All right. So, we got some stories today. I got to say this one, though. Yes. Look, look. I got to say this because I know a bunch of you own this coin. Fuck. So I got to say it. Pundi X misses its XPOS target. Now, all is not lost. Settle down. Settle down. We're going to talk about Pundi X is just fine. Everything will be just fine. But we do have to go over a few little uh, issues. We got to go over a few little issues. All right. Then, everyone's talking about this. I don't understand why it's such a big deal. What, just because it's a regular company? Everyone wants to talk. All right, so Samsung is coming out with their own blockchain mainnet. So what? I got to. So anyways, man, every single website had it. So obviously I got to talk about it. And then, like I promised you guys, bang, VeChain onboards Deloitte. It just keeps going. It just keeps going, VeChain. <coughs> they just keep growing and growing. Another customer. So bang, and then we'll do shout outs and airdrops. So let us begin. Bang, like how we begin. Yes, we head on over to the, let's see, to the bang. Yes. All right, where are we at? Where are we at here? Gotta slow down. 5461 on the Bitcoin. Let's do a quick refresh. All right, 5447. All right, so um, pretty. it was pretty good blood right yesterday. Some good sales on yesterday. Today's not looking so great. I mean... You know what I mean? In terms of sales, I mean, the market looks fine. So, brothers, let's go. Top 10 of the day. Brothers, you know how we do it around these parts. Usual suspects. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, EOS, Binance Coin, Tether, Stellar, and bang, Cardano. Yes. Let's look at the market moves of the day. Hmm. Looks like some basic old single digits up to single digits down. What's the song of 19, 2019? Single digits up, single digits down. That's how we do it around the town. Single digits up, single digits down. <laughs> Holy, every day, brothers. Single digits up, boy. Single digits down. All right, let's go. Single digits up, single digits down. Holy, I put the, I put the lid tight on that one there at the time. Single digits up to single digits down. Single digits up to single digits down. And finally, single digits up to single digits down. All right, brothers, let's look at the top 10 loser of the day. If you see anything on here you like, yes, it means it's on sale. Yes, yeah, not something to cry about. It means it's on sale. So go get it. Here we go. Bang. Yes. Top 10 loser of the day, brothers. Maximine Coin, Digix DAO, Insight Chain, BitShares, Tezos, Project Pi, ABBC Coin, Waves, Digit. Text futures and bang eternity. Yeesh. That's who made money today. Yeesh, not much. Yeesh. <laughs> All right, brothers. Top ten earners of the day: Engine Coin, Augur, Icon, Base Hit Tension, Wax, Populous, Arc, Odom, Mono Chain, and Chainlink. Yeesh. All right. Whoop. Yes. Yeah, let's get our numbers from yesterday. Now let's look at the total market cap of the day, brothers. All right. What are we at? 176 billion. Bang. Yes. And yesterday we were at 177.3. Today we're at 176.2. All right. Market went down a bill. Went down a billion. 176.2. Excuse me while I yes, do some paperwork. <laughs> My paperwork. Yes. Like I'm a worker bee. Yes. I've got paperwork to do. Yes. All right. Look at the 24 hour volume today, brothers. Yes, oh, volume's way down. So yesterday we were at 51.8. Uh, today we're at 47.8. So that's a straight up 4 billion down in market volume. Whoops. In market volume today. And hence the billion dollar, billion dollar uh, market cap loss. Well, you know, like I said, we're just so, we're just, 
you know, consolidating. Like, these are normal market moves. I want you guys to understand, like, don't listen to these crazy-ass little crypto nerd websites. You know, like, oh, Bitcoin crashes through 5.5. Five. The Oh, that's the support level crash through. Ugh, dudes, don't listen to those crypto nerds, okay? That's a bunch of bullshit nonsense, okay? Bitcoin is the most volatile asset in the world. I told you guys already. A $400 range, to me, is just Bitcoin consolidating. Okay? Believe me. Believe me. Brothers and sisters, when it's time to be afraid, yes, I'll make you afraid. I told you guys. Yes, we have the Chinese trade war thing. Don't worry. I'll be here. Don't worry about this crap. Don't listen to these websites. Yes, Bitcoin crashes through the, the support of 5.5. Like, so what? So what? All right, there are more sellers than buyers today. So what? That's how markets work. You know, prices just don't go up forever every single day. So I'm just saying that to you guys, okay? I mean, I know a m bunch of you get it, but I do have a bunch of new people lately, and so I just want maybe them, maybe they don't understand how we roll around here, boys, and so, you know, I want to just you know, get their minds right. All right, brothers, look. Oh, this story. Fuck. All right. So I got to read this, guys. Bang! Pundi X misses XPOS target, delays its X phone, but the long term goal remains. Settle down. The long term goal remains. Yes, don't worry, brothers. Pundi X will be just fine. Look, I'm going to read this to you, but I'll just tell you the synopsis right now. All right, you know, they make hardware, right? Point-of-sale devices, and they want to make a phone. All right, there's delays on their point-of-sale devices and the phone. Yeesh. Yes, it's not great. But look, at least the blockchain works. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? At least it's not some bullshit like, oh, the blockchain got 51% attacked or something. Ugh, well, that would be a whole other fucking story. Yes, my tone of voice would be a lot different. You know, I feel bad having to read this, but luck, luck, it's just a delay. Settle down. But if it were like a mainnet attack or something, well, then I'd be telling motherfuckers, look, look, motherfuckers. You might want to bounce. <laughs> but nah, this isn't bounce grade. This isn't have to get rid of this shit. This isn't something that if I did own it, you guys know how I treat my portfolio. I peek inside. Every once in a while, I look around at all those little motherfuckers. You there. You making me money? <laughs> you know what I mean? If they mess around, boom, you got to go. So if I did have Pundi X and I did my, my, my portfolio oversight, yeah, man, I'd still hold on to it. So were you saying sell it? Nah, dude. I'm just saying, though, just be aware. All right. Because we got to read it. All right. Here we go. Let's just get this over with. Move on to some happy news. Because you guys know me, like I told you, man. You know what I mean? I want every single one of these things to work. You know, I'm not, if you're new here, I'm not here for, you know, oh, yeah, I love some coin or some bullshit like that. Or anything like that. Like, you know, I know I'm not a cult member of anything. Like, um, you know, I want all of these things to work. So when the institutional investors arrive, they come to a mature well, I ain't going to be mature by the time they get here, but <laughs> they get to a place, though, where, wow, all this crypto stuff is working. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I want them to look around and and be, you know, enthralled, you know, like, wow, you know, V-Chain, wow, this thing is cool. Oh, wow, Stellar, okay, this thing is cool. You know what I mean? Like, it works. Like, oh, Pundi X, oh, this new thing, oh, okay. Do you see what I'm saying? When they come here and everybody's projects are working, well, it makes the place look good, right? When you're running around here and you got dudes claiming to be this guy and wanting to sue the other guy and all that, that's childish stuff. You know, you got Vitalik Buterin and Justin Sun dissing each other on Twitter. That's childish. You know what I mean? So anyways, obviously we can't get rid of the childishness in these fucking kids. But as long as they have working product, it'll be all right. All right. So look, let's get it over with. All right. Singapore headquartered company, blockchain company, Pundi X, blames the bear market and long certification process for missed their expansion targets. Well, for missing their expansion targets. Yeesh. 
but claims that their long-term goals remain unchanged. Yes, exactly. The company was not able to ship as many XPOSs, their point-of-service device that accepts cryptocurrencies, as planned. They have postponed their X-Phone launch. While the date of the public testing of their Function X testnet is not clear now. <clears throat> First, Pundi X shipped only 5,000 units of XPOS out of a target of 50,000. Still, their long-term shipping target is 100,000 shipped devices. Set for 2021 remains unchanged, according to the spokesman. The spokesperson. Some units are pending because of local certification. Now, we've obtained CE certification, which verifies that a device is compliant with EU requirements. So it sounds like they're having their... Uh, it sounds like they're saying EU requirements. And so, obviously, that's where they're selling them. And so, that's cool. Because remember, we read about Pundi X. Remember in South Africa? We read about the guy. He said he wanted to put 100,000 of these XPOS units in South Africa alone. So, what this... Actually, let me read this. And then I'm going to show you why. Do not worry. Pundi X is A-OK. -okay, okay? Watch, watch, watch. A-okay, motherfuckers. It's just a delay. But I know, I know these websites, the way they say things sometimes, they make things sound crazy, you know? Like, oh, you know, one little mistake, and oh, you know, they settle down. We're in the, you're in the markets now. You're, you're in the business world now. Don't worry, don't worry. Everything doesn't go exactly perfectly every single step, every second. Yeah, things, kinks in the road, and then they get ironed out, and yes, you move on. All right. So I'll explain this. Hold on. Earlier in April, <clears throat> during the Ask Me Anything session, Zach Che, Pundiex founder and CEO, said that they were unable to reach their previous goal due to the bear market and the process of obtaining the necessary certifications. However, according to the CEO, after the certification has been received, they will begin to accelerate to get this XPOS compliant with the different markets and increase the activation rate of the XPOS. And that's the problem, right? Is... Right in Europe, it's the same as here in America. Yeah, we don't have a one American crypto regulations yet. Right, that's what we're waiting for. Bang the rule book. Bang from the SEC. Bang. That's what we're waiting for, brothers. And so, this is the kind of bullshit you got to put up with, right? Like, what might be legal here in Florida? Yeah, maybe New York, not so legal. You know, Wyoming, oh, it'll be legal over there. California, maybe not so much. And so, companies have to. Yeah, you got to tailor everything to each individual state within a country, right? Like, and that's what's happening with the European Union. <clears throat> All right, they have to make, they have to fit the regulations of France, or Germany, blah, 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 individually, instead of having an EU-wide regulation, right? And so it's just taking time for them to get the individual licenses. That's all. Like, it's not, you know, um... Yeah, they're going to get compliant. So hold on, hold on. Let me just read on. Do the bear market process of obtaining the necessary survey. However, according to the CEO, after this first phase has been revealed, they will begin to accelerate the XPOS compliant with the different markets and increase the activation rate of XPOS. Exactly. Um, so each, I guess what's going down is, it sounds like each, you get the certification per country and then they're going to blast them out per country. So, all right. Uh, we're working hard to engage established global enterprises, especially those with a large distribution network and footprint. In addition to that, <clears throat> we're exploring the expansion of our XPOS solution footprint by integrating the XPOS into one of the top two point-of-sale manufacturers. We will share the process and details once you have completed the testing. Bang, yes. So what they're saying is <laughs> XPOS might just come already inside of other people's point-of-sale devices. Yes. All right. The company also claims that XPOS Handy, <clears throat> a more affordable version of XPOS, is now in production and 2,000 units will be produced soon. Yeesh. I don't like how they said soon in quotations like that. But look, look, they'll do it. They'll do it. Um, the XPOS and X Wallet, a mobile app that connects regular digital assets wallets, with the Pundi X payment ecosystem has handed, handled a total of 
Uh, USD 3.9 million in Q1 outbound transactions, the CEO said. As of April 10th, they had almost 180,000 registered users of X Wallet, according to the company. All right. Meanwhile, the company is also at work on their blockchain based smartphone called the X Phone, which was initially set to launch in Q2 of 2019, but has subsequently been moved for the second half of this year. So, Q3, Q4. Yeah, well, better to better to have better to delay a product launch than to launch a product that doesn't work. You heard about that that phone that came out the other day? It's some sort of phone that you can close or something. Bam! Yeah, you fuck up your whole screen, right? That cell phone. Oh, I don't remember the name. Who did it? Yeah, they screwed up. Yeah, that's got to be a bitch. You make a hundred thousand units or something, and then you got to recall them all. Yeesh. So better to delay, better Pundiax delays this phone launch. They come out with a phone that fucks up somehow, right? In late February, oh, so this is the CEO here, or whoever he is, some Pundiax person. Look, in late February, we have just finalized specifications and price. All right, so it's going to be. They said the price. Here's the price right here. Bang. It's going to be USD, $599. <clears throat> Testing and detailing are required before we bring the first generation of X phone to the market. Exactly. You got to test and everything, man. Make sure this thing is top notch. The spokesperson told us, adding, we plan to produce 5,000 units of X phone only. For more X phone units in the future, we plan to work with phone manufacturers to build the ecosystem together. Okay, so it sounds like they're trying to build their own X phone, 5,000 units of them. But after that, it sounds like maybe they're going to, you know, I don't know, try to, well, it says right here, partner with someone else in the ecosystem. So let's see what that's about. Back in February, the company announced a redesign of the phone, which includes included the X button, allowing users to switch to D apps, distributed apps, decentralized applications on the blockchain mode with a press of a button. Oh, okay. So you get a little blockchain explorer. Okay. Um, on the blockchain mode, the services in the X phone can operate independently of centralized carriers so that users can route phone calls, messages, and data via blockchain nodes without the need for centralized service providers. What? Wait a minute. Are they saying you can make a, a, a call through the blockchain? Without even having to have a service provider? Hold on, hold on. Let me just read this again. On the blockchain mode, the services of the iPhone can operate independently. Operate independently of centralized carriers, it says. Oh, so you're saying, ah, I could be wrong, but I think they're saying, yeah, once you get this X phone, you can just make a, a phone call through Pundi X's blockchain. Ah, look, I could be wrong, so don't get angry at me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, just tell me in the comments. But that sounds like what that's saying. What? Right? Isn't it? Look at what it says. On the blockchain mode, right? So, boop, you press the button. This is what it says. It has right here, X button. So, boop, you press the X button. And then uh, when you're in that, that it switches you to blockchain mode. So that when you're in blockchain mode, the service of the X phone can operate independently of a centralized carrier. Do you see that? Look. Mm -mm. I don't know what else, right? And it says right here, so that users <clears throat> can route phone calls, messaging, and data via the blockchain nodes without the need for centralized service providers. Look, look. Oh, that means Pundex might be trying to take over the phone companies. Look, look, maybe I'm getting crazy. Maybe I'm, <laughs> maybe I'm expanding this a little much. But you guys know me. Yeah, I'm pretty conservative. It says it right there. Yes. Actually, I didn't read all the way down to this part of the article. I just, I read the top part and I knew I had to read it to you. So, fuck. Yeah, I didn't read all this part. Actually, <laughs> if I'd read this part, I wouldn't have made it sound like such a bad story. It's a great story, actually. What the fuck? Yes. As reported, XPOS and X phones are only part of Pundiex's, are only a part of Pundiex's plan to build a blockchain with tens of thousands of nodes. As it's developing Function X. Ooh, what's Function X? A decentralized ecosystem built entirely on and for the blockchain. All right. 
In December 2018, the company estimated that the Function X testnet should be available for, fu- <clears throat> for public testing in Q2 of this year. Well, all right, that's this Q. We're in Q2. Nice. However, according to the spokesperson, the testnet is still in the works. Oh, and the time for public testing has not yet been set. All right, well, it'll come around. All right. So bang and so luck, brothers and sisters, luck. I know, I know. That, that article didn't sound that great. <laughs> Actually, that X phone thing did sound great, though, right there. I wish I had read down to the bottom. I wouldn't have made this sound so dire. So look, there's a little delay. <clears throat> what I got to say is this, brothers and sisters. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, it. What matters is that the blockchain is good, right? Like the blockchain wasn't hacked or anything or 51% attacked or any kind of something like that. And so this is really a problem with the manufacturer, right? It's really the people who uh, Pundix pays to build their XPOS device. Right, it's not on Pundix, you know, Pundix, you know, it's not like they got a bunch of tech nerds in there building point of sale devices. They, you know, license that out to some company manufacturer to do it for them. And I guess they just didn't pick a good manufacturer or whatever, but so, you know, a little delay, but uh you know, that's not Pundix's fault and the fact is their blockchain works and that's what really matters. And what's cool is is that you have big targets like this. Bang, 50,000. Bang, we read about the South Africa one where the guy wants to put 100,000 of them in South Africa alone. And then you have to remember like, all right, well, they have to they have to be compliant with EU requirements. So it's taking time for them to go state to state. Germans, do you mind if we use our thing here? French, do you mind if we use our thing? Da-da. And so it's just delays. So it's not, nothing's over. Nothing's over. The blockchain works. These point of sale devices work. The manufacturer has screwed up in manufacturing them for these guys. They're delaying their phone, fine, but that's to make sure that there's no problems. Better have a working product than come out with some shit that that doesn't work and really piss people off. And look, look, look. If this is saying what I think it just said, <laughs> this blew me away right here. Fuck, I'll buy one of these fucking phones. Look, in blockchain mode, your phone will be able to independent operate ever centralized carriers. You'd be sending calls on the blockchain? Is that, if that's what that means, if that's what that means, I'm not saying that's what it means, but it sounds like it. Sure sounds like it to me. Now that's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, then, you know, screw at and <laughs> Verizon. Those are our, our phone companies here in America. Yes. So, Pundex hodlers, while there's a delay, bang, everything is moving along nicely. Yes. The manufacturer's delaying. But the products are coming out, and look, look, that X phone thing. What? Just make phones over the block, calls over the blockchain? Now that's serious. That's like some Skype. All right, guys. So, about the X holders, hang in there, brothers. Don't let this, don't let these websites or anything freak you out, because they're gonna be like, oh, Bundy X disaster. Oh, Bundy X bullshit. Look, look, look. Oh, listen to that bullshit. Believe me. When it's time to be afraid, I'll tell you. This is no time to be afraid, Bundy X holders. Hold. Bang! Yes. In fact, slap some more of that in the warehouse because bang! Yes. You got 50,000 units coming. Bang! You got 100,000 units coming. Bang! And you got a phone that it sounds like you don't even need a carrier. So look, look, Pony X Holders. Don't let these guys freak you out. When you go to some website and you hear some freak out talk, just remember, yes, Shamari said everything's good. Yes. Bang! All right. So enough of that. Bang! Yes, just had to get that out there. I know you're going to read some stuff and be all freaked out. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not in the least bit. Not in the least bit, especially after that phone part we just read. Oh, wait, that's stupid. Wow, that's amazing. Making phone calls over the blockchain? Yes, that's nice. All right, though. New story, brothers. <coughs> so, there's oh, this story, yeah. And so... I would never have even read this one, but it was just on every single fucking website today. And so I was like, all right, all right. Obviously, I have to comment on it. So, and this is kind of weird because one of the brothers, one of you brothers, you told me about how Theta, Theta Token, had this thing going on with Samsung and Sony. 
Well, it doesn't mean that Samsung can't have multiple blockchain things going on. Uh, actually, that's how that sounded. Sorry, that's that was stupid. <laughs> but anyway, whatever. Hold on. So Samsung planning new blockchain mainnet featuring Samsung coin. Okay. South Korea and electronics giant Samsung may end, up, may end up developing a public private blockchain complete with its own cryptocurrency token. An anonymous source told crypto industry news outlet Coindesk Korea on April 24th. The project, part of an undertaking by the company's dedicated blockchain division, would see a blockchain mainnet appear based on Ethereum, along with the new asset dubbed Samsung Coin. Hmm. Quite inventive name. We expect Samsung coin to come out in the market. But the direction has not yet been decided. The source who is in touch with the plans told the publication. The news, while not confirmed officially, comes as Samsung continues its various forays into both the blockchain and cryptocurrency spheres. Last week, the company gave a fresh signal about its belief in the long-term profitability of the emerging phenomena as it participated in a $4 million investment round in smartphone-based wallet app Zengo. Yeah, they, they, they invested in this. They invested in that, and they also invested in uh, something ledger, some ledger something. Oh, oh, here it is, right? Idiot, is it? it, it hold on. Uh, Samsung's existing enterprise blockchain offering Next Ledger also can use to see, oh, that, yeah, but they also invested in this other ledger thing. Um, also continues to see uptake from entities worldwide, most recent of which came in the form of IT India giant Mahindra. So they're, they're one blockchain that they're already offering, Next Ledger. Mahindra is using it. But they invested in some, I thought it was some wallet or something today, something Ledger. Um, whatever. The Ethereum-based offering would, meanwhile, likely incorporate elements of both public and private blockchains, with exact details similarly still forthcoming. <clears throat> Currently, we're thinking of a private blockchain, though it is not yet confirmed, the source said. And the source continued, it could also be public blockchain in the future. But I think it will be hybrid. That is a combination of public and private blockchains. All right, bang, so there's Samsung, bang, with the blockchain, bang, all right, and there's going to be a coin, okay. Uh, you know, what is it going to do? What's the blockchain going to do? What's the purpose? What's the use case? Whatever, man. Everyone was just so hyped about Samsung coming out with this coin. And whatever. It's another one to throw into the pile. <laughs> All right, brothers. And then here we go. Here's one that'll make you money, though. Bug. Yes. <laughs> lack, lack, lack. V-Chain Thor just onboarded Deloitte. Yes. Oh man, with Price Waterhouse Cooper, that's half of the big four on V Chain's blockchain. Do you understand? Price Waterhouse Cooper, Deloitte, those are those are the big four auditing companies of the world. You know what I mean? Like when your country has a recession, yeah, yeah, you call in Deloitte to to to, to check your banking the banking records for your country. Like shit like that. Like when a company like I'm talking a big company, like, you know, you know, GM, Boeing, you know, need auditing. Yeah, you call in PricewaterhouseCoopers and Deloitte. You know, big, big, they're the two biggest, right, in the world. And that's what I mean about, last night I said this, <clears throat> I'm going to say it again. It's not just that VeChain has customers, it's who these customers are. That is what is going to make you fucking millions with VeChain, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> I mean, if you have the money to put enough in there to do that, I mean, obviously, it depends on how much you own of it. And I gave you the rundown of, I told you about it, um, at, at, at less than zero zero, so point zero zero seven cents, um, a $7,000 investment will bring you a million dollars once VeChain goes to $1. In other words, 175 times your money if you invest now and VeChain goes to a dollar. Do you see what I'm saying? Yo, and will it go to a dollar? You're fucking right. Are you joking? These in institutional investors that are coming here, yeah, they're the ones that use Deloitte and Price Waterhouse Supers. 
Price Waterhouse Cooper. That's that's their accountant. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you're when you're <clears throat> JP Morgan, the fourth largest bank in the world, yeah, you hire Deloitte to do your accounting for you. You hire Price Waterhouse Cooper. That's the level. Do you understand the level that V Chain is playing in? They're playing with the biggest of the big boys in the world, man. Every partnership we read about, these are the biggest of the big boys. We read about BMW yesterday. Yeah, in the automotive industry. Those are some of the, that's one of the biggest of the big boys. You know what I mean? We read about BYD. Yeah, that is the biggest of the big boy electronic, uh, electric car company in China. You know what I mean? Now we're reading about Deloitte. Yeah, that's the biggest of the big boys. It, it, the biggest of the big boys. <laughs> like the biggest of the big boys in auditing and that. Do you understand? So it's the quality of customers they have. When these guys get here and see that kind of quality of of clients, no way. Look, look. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're going to get some sick ROI. And look, look, the ROR on that is going to be real quick. Real quick. R- rate of return. ROR is your rate of return. How fast do you get that money? When these guys get here and they're legally allowed to buy this, <laughs> your rate of return is going to be astronomical. It's not going to take you five years to make a bunch of millions off of E-Chain. That's going to be pretty much instantaneous once they, bang, drop the rule book. All right. (laughs) Okay. I've been talking a lot there. All right, brothers. Look. So, V-Chain Thor just onboarded Deloitte. Yeesh. With PricewaterhouseCooper, that's half of the big four on V-Chain's blockchain. Yeah. Those big four. PricewaterhouseCoopers. Uh, Ernst and Young, Deloitte. Fuck, what's the other one? KPMG. Those are the four big accounting firms in the world. Yes. V Chain has two of them. <laughs> Half of the big four. Yuck, luck. Do you guys get it? I, I hope I'm impressing upon you the magnitude of these customers that they have. <laughs> this is no joke. Like, they're in the big time. They are in the. V Chain is. They, V-Chain is playing in the big leagues. V-Chain's not running around here, you know, like, you know, some of these, you know, they got little bullshit clients, you know, like, yes, I hate to say this, but ripple lovers, right? Yes, we're going to take over banks. Yeah, and they got 13 little shitty little remitters. Fuck all that, right? You don't even know the names of that. Yes, when you look at V-Chain's customer list, <laughs> you know those names, boy. Look, look, and if you don't, well, maybe you're not such a market guy. Their names are big. So huge, BMW, BYD, Deloitte, PwC, Pricewaterhouse Coopers. Damn, dude. Like, I know accounting doesn't seem big to you, but it's huge. It, it's massive, okay? All right, brothers. Let's, are you guys, this motherfucker going to read this or what? All right, settle down, brothers. Settle down. Yes. The VeChain project has revealed that professional services firm Deloitte will develop solutions on the VeChain Thor network. Having decided, oh yeah, having decided to migrate from the Ethereum network. Yes, that's another part of this story. Deloitte already was building on the Ethereum network. Nah, man, they bounced. They bounced. And we talked about that a little bit. Ethereum is losing a a, a bunch of distributed apps. I I told you, we reported about this from last year, uh, last November, when when, when, uh, projects started leaving Ethereum to go to Stellar and Tron. A lot, uh, not a lot, but a bunch were leaving to go to Stellar and Tron, right? Yeah, well, and here, now I guess they're going to VeChain as well. And remember we just read about VeChain just starting this whole distributed app thing? Yes, VeChain's come into play in the platform token world. You know, I've I've said it before. I think that's where the battle is going to be of crypto world. You know, who can suck in as many developers to to put or companies, whatever, to use their platform to make their distributed apps. I think a distributed app is gonna be something so basic in the future, like having a website. You know, like, your company has to have one. Yes, man, that's what I think, man, I think so. I think it's gonna be basic like that. Every fucking company is gonna have some sort of little app for something. Yeah, man, I think so. I mean, maybe I'm dreaming. I think that's how it's gonna go down. Your fucking lawyer's office is gonna have an app so if you get arrested, you just press a button, it'll say bail money or something, and, and the guy will come bail you out of jail. Like, 
I'm talking. I'm serious, brothers. Like, like that's the level. I think. I think where distributed apps are going to go. Everything. Everything. Look, every company is going to have one. It's going to be like you're going to like you need a website. You need a distributed app. All right. Yes. Maybe I'm dreaming. We'll see. But that's where I think the battle is going to be, and that's where the fun part <laughs> of the crypto world I think is going to be. It's going to be Vitalik Buterin and and Justin Sun, you know, just shitting on each other over Twitter all the time. <laughs> Yo, for the next 10 years, 20 years, forever. It's never going to end. They're going to keep upgrading. All right, now I've got this many transactions. Yeah, well, now I have this many transactions. Yeah, well, now I'm quantum proof. Oh, yeah, well, now I'm quantum proof. Like, <laughs> I think it's just going to get crazy like that. All right. I'm not going to bullshit you. That's where I think the, the party is going to be. In this crypto world. All right, brothers, let me read this to you. I'm yapping a lot. I know. I'm sorry, man. Yes. The news was revealed at the VeChain Summit 2019 in San Francisco, which showcased how VeChain Thor could be used for different applications and innovate upcoming solutions such as Toolchain, which, according to VeChain, allows businesses to launch solutions in under 30 minutes. And that's what I'm talking about. You see how VeChain's already doing that? Exactly. Like I said, your lawyer's office, man. Maybe you'll just be a lawyer if you smarten up. We'll just be like, like if I were a lawyer, I'd be like, really? I'll just build a distribute app. Yeah, any of my clients get arrested. All right, just hit me up on the app. I'll come bail you out of jail, buddy. Bang, right? <laughs> Seriously, you know what I'm saying, right? Yes. Uh, also announced is the fact that Blockchain Global CTO of Deloitte, Antonio Senator will join V Oh, oh, will join V Chain's advisory board. <laughs> That's right, I did read that. That was what was stupid too. So not only is Deloitte going to use them as a client, but one of their people is actually going to be on their board of directors. So um here's the actual, I guess this is the official announcement right here. So let's read it. Deloitte announced they will be developing its blockchain solution on VeChain Thor and migrating from Ethereum due to to the advanced features of the VeChain Thor blockchain. Yes. Their open source block explorer and low key truffle for VeChain will be released to the public soon. All right. So that's their reasoning behind it. So Deloitte is one of the big four professional services firm and fellow big four member Price Waterhouse Coopers. Whenever you see that, this, uh, this what this is. PWC, whenever you see that anywhere, that's Price Waterhouse Coopers. Okay? That's the second largest in the world. <clears throat> Behind Deloitte. Bang. <clears throat> uh, so of the professional so okay, let's start over. Deloitte is one of the big four professional services firms and fellow big four member Price Waterhouse Cooper is also working with VeChain towards blockchain solutions. Yes. Deloitte is the biggest among the big four. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you see what the quality of their clients is? Do you understand what I mean? The quality. Yo, these aren't just some little shitty accounting firms. You know, you know I don't know what, you know, some little shitty Brazilian accounting firm or something. No, man, this is a global Deloitte. The biggest of all the big, there's four big ones. Deloitte is the biggest one. Yes. So, um, Deloitte is the biggest among these four, and all of the members, oh, here it is, Ernst & Young and KPMG, being the two others, are looking into the implementation of blockchain technology. Right, look, if you're Ernst & Young and KPMG, and you see Deloitte and PricewaterhouseCoopers using this thing called Thor, or VeChain, you're rather like, look, look, <laughs> we got to get on that VeChain wagon. You know what I mean? <clears throat> look, brothers. VeChain Project has made a lot of progress in 2019. Oh, hey, look at all this stuff I just read to you this week. It's been VeChain week. Uh, the VeChain Project has made a lot of progress in 2019, securing numerous partnerships and revealing attractive solutions to businesses, for businesses like Toolchain, and also having its NFC chips integrated into Adidas' official sneakers for the next season of Game of Thrones. We read about the sneaker thing. Um, getting Deloitte, which generated roughly $43 billion in revenue in 2018, <laughs> to work with VeChain Thor is no small achievement either and offers some validation about the project's potential. It validates the project like a motherfucker. When those institutional investors arrive here, 
and they see this little blockchain, they've got BMW as a client, bang! They've got PricewaterhouseCoopers as a client, bang! They've got Deloitte as a client, bang! They've got BYD as a client, bang! You will be rich, motherfucker. I'm telling you that right now, brothers. I know I always say it. I don't, I don't tell you what to do with your money. I only give you my opinion. But that's my opinion. <clears throat> your, v, your V chain shelf of your warehouse, oh, that's going to make you rich. Wow. It'll make you a lot. That's going to be one of your biggest money makers right there. That right there. That'll be one of your biggest performers right there. Yes, brothers. That's not just talk. That look, look at the names, look at the partnerships, and not partnerships, look at the customers. When these guys get here, yeah, half these institutional investors employed Deloitte and PricewaterhouseCoopers to do their accounting for them, right? Uh, they're auditing and stuff like that. Yes. See what I'm saying, brothers? All right, I can't emphasize it enough. The quality of the partnerships is what matters. The quality. You know, it's not just that, yeah, well, I got these 13 banks. Yeah, but they, who the fuck are they? Right? It's bang. I have these couple companies, but who are they? Well, Deloitte and Tucci, Pricewaterhouse Coopers, the number one and number two in the world. You see the quality? Yes, it's about the quality. Well, all right then, let me get back to your wives and lives, brothers. Bang, let's do shout outs and airdrops. Bang, I believe I have spoken enough. Bang, all right. Look, look, brothers. Right? Oh, you guys really get to see this, right? You see the logo? Bang, that's our cryptocurrency blockchain news logo. Yeah, see the earth underneath? Yes, we're hovering over the earth. <laughs> yes. All right, brothers, though, let's just do how we do. Bang. <laughs> what did someone put here? Oh, Biniam. Hold on, let's first bang him. Biniam Gazai. See you, brother. Bang. <laughs> what does he have here? Stellar joins YRX platform. Oh. <laughs> Look at this old lady. That looks like Mrs. Van Brienen. Van Brienen. Yo, Michelle, where are you, my friend? I am downstairs, Shamari. You know where I am, my brother. I am making money with the cryptocurrency. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. I was just wondering if you're still here. I know you're making money. <laughs> There's Mrs. Van Brienen. Yes. Yes. Yes, brothers. All right. Mm-mm. Poppy Wood. Mm-mm. DJ Poppy. Oh, he changed his shit again? Now what does he have? Oh, I liked that dancing thing he had on there. What is that thing? Oh, I can't even see that thing. Oh, a space motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Edwin said the space cat. Yep. Bang, Poppy would Love you, brother. What is he talking about? Huobi. Huobi DM will launch TRX contracts. All right. So Huobi... Oh, derivatives market. Oh, derivatives. That usually means leveraged. Yes. Well, there you go, brothers. <clears throat> yes, get those leveraged trades in. Look, brothers, it's all about leverage. That's how I make my money. Fuck, if it wasn't for leverage, yeesh, I'd have to have a job. Look, brothers. Yes, there she is. Bang, our girl, blockchain stallion. Love you, girl. Bang. See you. Yes, Arge. Love you, brother. Bang. See you. Yeah. Oh, still with us one more day. Hurricane Master. Bang. See you, brother. Bitcoin Kong. Oh, and you see how the motherfucker already has the BMW and the B-Chain sign? Yo, Kong, you're a quick motherfucker. How do you... You must be some graphic artist or something. How do you do those? You Oh, and you put a look, look on it. Look, look, look at this thing. All right, it's it, the BMW with the V-chain, and it says, look, look. <laughs> look, look. Bang. Yes. Bitcoin Kong, see you, brother. Yeah, Yo, you got good ones, man. Yo, those are some good symbols. Look at that. The BMW with the V right in the middle. Exactly. Exactly. That says it all right there, motherfucker. Bang, brother. Love you. Yes. Crypto Carlito. Bang. Love you, brother. Binium, one more. Fuck it. Bang. Radster. Bang. See you, brother. Yes, DP Entertainment, bang, see you, brother. Son of a bitch, bang, 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 yes, got you. See you, brother, bang. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, Kong, hold on, let's look again. 
Oh, and look at, hold on, here's my favorite. Hold on, hold on. First, look, look, Rajiv, see you, brother. Bang. And then here it is, my favorite. Thank you, Kong. Yes. Boom. That's fidelity ending with the market, brothers. Look, look. Boom. Don't forget about fidelity, brothers. Don't ever forget that. Boom. Yes. And now V Chain's got the uh V Chain's got the uh the uh oh the delete contract. Boom. <laughs> v Chain's got the BMW contract. Boom. V Chain's got the BYD contract. Boom. <laughs> v Chain's gonna make your 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 account look like this. Boom! That's what your holdings are gonna look like, brothers. A little bit of Boom with some V chain, brothers. Oh, hey. Kong, love you, brother. Mm hmm. Love you, brother. Yes. Kong likes to preach with his videos. V chain? Boom. All right, brothers. Let's move along. Mm -hmm. Oh, here, Kong. Oh, here, Kong said, V chain, look, look. Yes. Yes. That's what it's going to look like when you guys come visit me next year. So if you're new here, I live in South Beach. Yes, that South Beach, the one in Miami. Yes, yes, yes. The beach is like literally two blocks right there behind my head right now as we speak. That's what it's going to look like, brothers, when we come. Oh, so I'm throwing a party, 2020, December 31st. By then, you should be getting rich. And I want to have a New Year's Eve party here for all the cryptocurrency blockchain viewers. And everybody's invited. All of you, come on down. I got a buddy. He's got a mansion. Yeah, he's a billionaire. Like a real one. You know, like his house has a movie theater inside. Yeah, like a theater. A theater, you know, like with the folding down chairs and all that. And we're going to party here. And that's what it's going to look like, brothers. Bang! That's what I expect to see. Poppy flinging money. Bob, Justin, everyone flinging some loot. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. Yes, VIPs. You're going to be VIP around this bitch. Yes. All right, a couple more and let's get out of here. Get you back to your wives and lives. Bang! Adnan, Arctic. Bang! See you, brother. What do we got? Who's this yellow one? Stacker, see you, brother. Bang. Yes, yes. Oh, there's Bob. Yes. Bang. Bob at 8441320. Bang. Yes. We got oh, the Crypto Witch. Bang. See you, lady. Bang. Tonight I didn't fuck it up, Crypto Witch. Love you, lady. Bang. Love you, girl. All right. Yes. See when you get in the cadence. Get in the cadence. I fucked it up last night. All right. That's enough. Enough. I'm having too much fun with it. All right. Let's get you back to your lives. Bang. Yes. And lives. Yes, and then we do a uh, bang, bang. Hello, everybody. Here I am. All right. So, good show today. Great show today. So, so, we started out with the Pundi X. So, so, so. Luck, luck, luck. Pundi X hodlers. Settle down. Settle down. The problem is that with the blockchain, which is what the, which is what the product is, the problem is with the manufacturer of these XPOS devices. It has nothing to do with Pundi X. So, don't worry about that. Uh, yeah. And the phone thing, Pundi X, what? I didn't even read. That's crazy. If, if that phone is for real, like you can just make calls over the blockchain huh, without having to have a carrier, that's revolutionary. That is revolutionary right there. So, wow. That'll catch on big time. Like, that means I could have a phone. Yeah, and just make a call anywhere in the world. Well, there has to be some sort of service, though. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to figure all that out. But bang, Pony X holders, what I'm trying to tell you is settle down, buy more. You're all good. You're all good. Samsung blockchain mainnet. All right, so Samsung is coming out with the blockchain. They're coming out with the mainnet, and looks like they're coming out with some sort of coin. They didn't really say what it's going to do or what the purpose of the blockchain is. And they said it's going to be private, and then maybe they will slide into uh, public. So I don't really know what that's about, but every single website was talking about it. So obviously, yeah, I had to talk about that one. <laughs> I don't give a shit about that one, to tell you the truth. You read us a story you don't give a shit about? Yeah, well, oh, fuck, I got to read the news. It is a news show. It is a news show, right? All right, brothers, but look, the one. Bang, and V-Chain on board to Deloitte. Yeah. Yeah, the number one in the world. Auditing firm in the world. And they already have Pricewaterhouse Cooper. So they have two of the top four of the world. Look, look. 
Woodstock, man. If I haven't impressed upon you enough about what I think about VJ, like I said, I don't tell you what to do with your money. I don't chill. I don't really give a fuck what you do with your money. I mean, I do give a fuck or else I wouldn't be doing this. But I mean, it, in terms of, you know, when people are like, you're just shilling something, dog. Why am I shilling anything? There's only 100 of you that watch this and you don't have enough money to move prices. I'm not an idiot. So <laughs> it doesn't matter if you buy a couple hundred dollars worth of V-Chain or something, right? To me and my prices. But what it does matter is, yes, it'll make you rich if you listen. And dudes, V-Chain is too good. Remember I I went through the the pricing of it. I went through the market cap of it. And like I said, V-Chain going to a dollar, if you buy right now, will give you 175 times whatever you put in now. So at 0.006 cents, putting in $1,000 of V-Chain right now, when V-Chain gets to a dollar, we'll give you $175,000. That's simple math, motherfuck sticks. You don't think V-Chain's worth a buck? You don't think V-Chain's worth that these guys, when they get here, that they're going to look at V-Chain and say, hold on, where are we at? And say, yeah, with all these, with all these clients, a buck. So $1, a $1 V-Chain gives you a market cap of $55 billion. Pfft, that's fuck all. You don't think they're going to say, yeah, this is worth $55 billion? You got Deloitte. You got Pete PricewaterhouseCoopers. You got BMW. You got BYD. You got, remember, they're going to build the smart city in Guangzhou province. Um, fuck, what else do we have? That that other one, the uh, that one company that they're doing the uh, logistics for, right, which is the second largest in the world. You don't think that's worth $55 billion? $55 billion brings you to a $1 V-chain at, at this price at 0 0.006. $1,000 will get you $175. Uh, sorry, $1,000 will get you $175,000 when V-chain goes to $1. Look, just telling you, do a little math, brothers. Do a little math. It doesn't hurt. Hey, you don't think VeChain's going to go to a dollar? You don't think it's going to get to $55 billion? You're fucking right it is. Easily. Easily. So, all right, all right. So that's it. Bang, bang, bang. All right, let's get you back to your wives and lives. And brothers, look. Subscribe below, press the bell, and you will get automatic updates when I do these shows. And you need to get them. Yes, you need to get that money. Look. I love doing this for you. It's my favorite time of my day. I love talking money. I love talking crypto. Look, look. My name's Shamari Clark. Yes, my name is Shamari Clark. Woo, we got all crazy right there. And look, I love doing this for you. Look, look, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bang, Shamari Clark. Love doing this for you. See you tomorrow. Yes. Over and out.